Hello grooming lovers. Hello. In this video we have a dog that is in a very very bad condition. I don't even have to say anything. Just take a look at that mats. Mats. This thing looks like it's all came into one piece. Mats. And this is his friend that you already gave a bath. She's super cute. And these dogs were found in a place called Kikinda. It is a place one and a half hour, hour driving from my place. And we went there to pick them up. And on our way to Novi Sad, to our place, one lady said that she wants to adopt them too. Two of them. And it is great because we were planning on taking them to the vet and finding them a temporary home. I mean, taking them to a temporary home where we hold the other of our dogs before they get, okay, it's thick. Before they get adopted. And one lady said that she will adopt both of them. So as soon as we finish his room, we are taking them back to Kikinda. And she said that she's going to take them to the vet. So. It's great, they are going to find home and they are really really nice dogs. As soon as I came in the yard of a woman who kept them overnight, he started dropping, jumping on my legs and she turned on the back so I can cuddle her belly and they are just super sweet and they are going home to the, together. So this ain't gonna be easy and I just let him sniff the clipper. Touch him with the clipper. Yeah, he does not have a microchip. And I just don't know where to start at. You have to find a place where he's not too matted. Okay, there's a tick. Actually, I was already taking off ticks from him while Sanya was bathing the girl. But, as you can see now, there's a lot of ticks on them. Yeah, there's another one. So we are wearing gloves. Okay. We're going to do this slowly, little by little, because that's the only way to do it. He's matted all the way to the skin. So yeah, we were planning on taking a weekend free because we had a lot of work this this week but we saw that post on facebook and so we decided to help these dogs take a look at that this is impossible this is crazy Yeah, there's another tick. They also did great in the car. Again, it was an hour and a half driving and they took it like champions. <laughs> So 
So it's gonna be a combination of clipper, scissors, and me wrapping, I mean, tearing the hair. And this probably feels great for him. This is insane. <laughs> okay, there's another tick. There's another one here. This is just insane. I want to take a picture of this. Okay, I just want to... Take this big piece off.
Okay, this is the biggest piece of hair that I saw. Stick him in Okay, this is going to the trash. And I bet he feels much, much better now. He probably forgot how this feels when someone is touching him. Okay. Oh, always. This is a 15 blade, it is shorter than the 10. You know, the bigger the number of the blade, the shorter the blade is. And it's much easier to dig under these mats with a shorter blade. This is solid as rock. Actually, this groom is going very easily. This is true, could I say that? Everything is coming off pretty fast, and he's being great. which makes the job much easier. So I realized that when you have a matted tail, the best way to cut through it is to go, you know, like that. Because you, should, you just cannot do everything with the clipper only. And trust me, I have some experience with, with matted tails. Right, Sanya? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that.
so I might have tail down in just a few minutes. So today is, I think, 16th or 17th April. 16th. 16th. And it's Saturday. And it's just a season of matted dogs because there's a lot of owner that wait for the spring for weather to be warmer because they groom their dog once a year uh, in that time of the year so we are trying to do as much work because we are going to Egypt on 22nd May And, you know, Sanya is buying it. No. She just does not know yet, but I'm using this occasion to say, Sanya, you are going to buy everything for the, no. first of, for the Egypt, because you have more money. <laughs> That's not true. That is true. <laughs> I don't want to pay. She already paid one half, half because damn pen. <laughs> because you have to pay 50% before you go when you're making the reservation and she paid for that and she thinks that I'm going to pay for the rest but I'm actually not because I don't care. That's not nice. <laughs> I was lying. I think I would go alone. <laughs> Do you like that dog? Mm, I can go. I, would go alone. I can go with you if you pay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pay. Well, this blade is very noisy i don't know this 15 blade that i have is much noisier it creates this annoying noise now i want to okay i'm going to change this <laughs> this is very very annoying I'm going to do his private area because it's also matted. And I'm very, very satisfied with how this groom is going on, is, is going. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, we are going to Egypt, to Hurghada. And actually, we wanted to go there uh, the last year, but... <laughs> but in the, end, in the end, we didn't go because... I don't know, it was just... A little bit too expensive for us and they actually in that agency traveling agency first said the one pricing and that and then there was a lot of unexpected co costs and we were just we just had to cancel it and 
but this year we are ready. Because Sonia was saving money since last year and she's going to spend it all on me. And because she likes that. <laughs> right, Sonia? She likes. You're going to see the pyramids and, you know, stuff in Egypt. And she's going to buy me a jacket <laughs> and, you know, an ice cream. No, <laughs> that's not true. Because I like when she is buying me stuff. I normally give her a paycheck and then take the money from her. <laughs> that's not nice at all. And guys, in, my in our last video, when we were arguing at the when she was beating the dog, I said that, please, please type in comments on which side are you and guys, everyone said that you're on Sanya's side and thank you and like guys, what's going on? Are you serious? You're just going to betray me like that? Seriously guys? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> like, I know that the most of my Hey, only see you when you're I know that the most of my audience are women and that the women take women's side, but it's not okay. It is just not okay because I didn't see one comment saying that I'm right. <laughs> because and you're not. I mean, it's probably because Sanya was delayed in the comments <laughs> that she didn't like. I would never do that because that's what she does but i never do that i'm good hmm. okay i'm going to do this area around the neck and this dog is the best dog in the world and Sanya is going to be the best dog girl the best girlfriend in the world when she pays for Egypt right and she's going to do that she's just <laughs> pretending <laughs> I'm definitely not going to do that but why but why because I don't want to that is not okay. That is not love. Love is when you buy a C for me. <laughs> I don't have that. I mean, money. when you pay for a C for me. I don't have money. Yes, you have money. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> I saw. No, no, no. I saw that you have money. I don't. Sonia does not like spending her money on me. But. Guys, when she goes, there's a shop called DM, DM, and open pan. And there's that's a shop that sells like cosmetics, you know, and the girl stuff and the hygiene stuff. And Sunny spends all of her salary there, so I had to make her salary smaller because she was buying a lot of stupid things you can do that <laughs> and it's better for her to take me to Egypt and spend money there than to buy like 100 different stuff for the hair and That's for bad. nails and That's so, bad. so guys I know that you betrayed me the last time but I'm asking you again <laughs> do you think Sanya should spend her money on the Egypt to buy the whole trip or on on her and on stuff for girls 
But guys, I'm not expecting much from you because betra you betrayed me the last time. <laughs> and... Okay, I'll put it back then. Where do you put it? Where do you put it? Where do you Sanja should... Okay, take a look at those legs. So, everything is going on very good. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take the dirty blade for this part because it's so matted. Imagine having that on your leg. We're going to take this on his neck off. It's 
is just too many ticks. Guys, if your dog had a tick and if the dog is not eating, the dog is not playing like no, he normally does or she, take them to the veterinarian, veterinarian right away. The ticks can cause Babesia. Always, always have some protection against ticks, fleas and mosquitoes for your dog. Sometimes a dog can have more than a hundred ticks and nothing can happen. And sometimes a dog can have one tick and it can be pretty bad. So please be careful. There's just dozens of ticks here. Okay, I'm going to take the turkey blade again. Okay, so we did a lot and I just want to take the eight and a half to do the head, I mean the ears. I'm not going to shave his head completely, only the ears because they are matted.
I just want to check to see if this dog has a microchip. I mean, they already tried to scan the chip, but they told me because of the hair, maybe the detector will not find it. So I'm trying again, and no, there's there's no microchip, no. want to make the head shorter before the bat it's going to be easier for Sanya <laughs> to wash it thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much but I'm not doing this for her it's also going to be easier for me to shave the head later so I'm doing this for me is that yeah, sorry, I don't care. <laughs> no, really, I don't care. When you, when you buy a, me a trip to Egypt, not just 50%, but 100%. I'm not going to do that. Then... Okay. <laughs> That's not okay. I don't like. <laughs> yeah, he looks cute. I just want to plug the hair from the ear canal and let Sanya bathe him and do nothing. <laughs> then put her on his sushi. This is an ear, pow ear powder that makes this hair less slippery and easier to be plucked out. Okay, Sanya just disinfected the hemostats so that I can pluck his ear here. Not Pacho Bruce. And actually, Sanya said that she's going to hit me <laughs> in the head if I continue talking bad about her. <laughs> I would never say that. Yes, yeah, and she just raised her hand like that and she's like, <laughs> 
you want me to hit you? To hit you? You want me to hit you? And I was afraid, so I just started filming again because I know that she will not hit me when I'm filming. So I feel protected and safe. That's not true. You know, guys, that he's lying. You know that. You can see in her eyes that she's aggressive. <laughs> That's not nice. Okay. Um, we're going to clean the ear canal after the bath. Now we're going to give him a little break because he's probably tired. And as you can see, he already looks thousand times better and feels even better. And I'm going to turn off the camera, hoping that Sanya is not going to hit me and hurt me. You can see here. She has a rock in her hand. She has something in her hands. <laughs> <laughs> Sun is going to injure me, so good luck to me. Let's see more about this. <laughs> hey.
Okay, let's wash the fluid for ticks off and then shampoo this guy and he's doing a great great in the bathtub as he did on the table and that girl was great in the bathtub too and great while drying and brushing Oh, this is sharp. Mazum. Okay guys, this is Chris Christensen, hydrating gland shampoo, it is diluted shampoo. Yeah, there's another pig here.
Ich muss schon schon vorne. Ich muss. It's an expanding shampoo like crazy. <laughs> But it's okay. I don't care. I'm going to take it off her paycheck. <laughs> no. Yes, yes. Don't do that. <laughs> Sunny is always funny when she's washing the head. Yeah, I'm very tired. I would tease her more, but I'm very tired. I got up at 5.30. I normally don't get up that early, but there was a cockroach under my head on my pillow. We have some cockroaches in our apartment that we need to take care of, but you know, the whole building has to take care of that because they'll be coming again and again. We have a problem with that. And this is the first time it was under my pillow. And I just remember touching the neck and just you know moving and i saw the legs of the cockroach on my on my bed and i turned on the light and i realized what happened and yeah i think that's karma yes <laughs> <laughs> no if there is karma there would be a uh thousand cockroaches on your bed <laughs> and rats and snakes <laughs> that's, that's not nice <laughs> do you agree no no When we dry him, we're going to see if there are some more ticks that we couldn't see before. And if there is, we're going to take them off. And like a few days ago, we had a dog that had hundreds of ticks on his body and head. And it was just an exhausting job for the dog and us too. So we had a lot of job, a lot of work this week and I think that I'll, I'll post the video of him first and then later that of that dog that has a lot of ticks and they were alive. So I decided that, that in the future if there's a dog with so many ticks, I'm not going to take them in the salon because it is a danger for us too and the ticks can go from the dog some to the salon and stay there so the best solution is to because the dog was so matted is to give the dog the pill that kills the fleas and ticks and it would kill the ticks and then take them off it's 
much easier, you know, they cannot get attached to your skin. And that's it. Okay, sun is finished in the second bath. You're going to to rinse him then and then apply the dark conditioner and we'll see you at the blow dryer. Okay, we're going to dry him with high velocity. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I... Another one. <laughs> and another one here. Okay, guys. <laughs> Sunny finished bathing him, drying him, and brushing the head. I'm gonna clean the ears with this cotton pads. Okay, it looks much better now. The ears are much cleaner now. 
and now I'm going to shave his body again, make it all nice and even. Like that. <laughs> so, yeah. As you can see, everything is even. He's nice and even. He's nice and even. Nice and even, that is one word. <laughs> and let's do the head. Okay, and the upper part of the ear with Nathan we have. So I'm going to take the thirty blade and This is the, okay. I'm going to take the eight mil, the ten millimeter combo attachment for the head. Hey. Hey. Okay, because he is complaining a lot the sugar for the clipper. I'm going to finish his head with scissors. and drive him to the new home.
And he looks cuter and cuter. And I'm so glad that they're both rescued and that they're going in the new home tonight. And that's amazing. Okay, he is done. Just want to blow the hair from the table. And that's it guys. I think that he looks great now. He's not matted anymore. He does not have all, the, all of that pressure he had from the matted hair. And she, she sleeps. And we're just going to give them a little walk and then take them to kick in them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, please type in comments that you think that Sanya should pay for our trip to Egypt. And that's it. We will <laughs> and we will definitely see you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, so it's been like six months since we groomed these two dogs, and we just want to show you how they are living now. As you can see, they're very, very playful. Uh, the male's name is Bingo, and the female's name is Leah. And this lady really, really takes a great care of them. She got them neutered. They always have a protection against fleas and ticks. <laughs> and yeah, they're very, very happy dogs. And we are glad that they were adopted so fast and that they got a second chance. <laughs> Just look at Leah, she's a, the cutest dog ever.